Rock Festival at a park in Seoul. There are even some foreigners participating. To the side, the mobile clinic for foreign workers is being held for foreigners. There is even foreign medical staff among the volunteers. Good morning. Uh, today, today I come here uh, in medical volunteer. My name is Phan Quốc Dũng. I come from Vietnam. And I'm, I'm a doctor in uh, cardiovascular intervention. And now I come to Korea and I live in one year. The foreign doctors traveled a long way to come to Korea. This is my country traditional musical instrument. Why did they come to Korea? The mobile clinic for foreign workers was held at the Walk Festival for the foreign workers without health care benefits. You know she has their... One of the volunteer doctors is Dr. Alimov from Uzbekistan. In, in Korea, uh, medical service is very uh, civilization and very modern. Let's, let's visit in Korea. Uh, very interesting and very useful in my life. Foreign medical workers are currently training at various departments in Ina University Hospital including ophthalmology, cardiology, and urology. Dr. Alimov is currently in training at the dermatology department in Inha University Hospital. He's making the rounds with Korean dermatologists. This is a time for him to learn about various skin diseases. Uh, in my country, uh, uh, many uh, patients treatment medication. A lot of uh, many uh, and a lot of treatment and medication treatment uh, in Korea, maybe 50 50 and medication and uh, equipment uh, uh, treatment. In Uzbekistan, where procedures using dermatological medical equipment are in its early stage, the laser procedure is a new field. I'm interested in, uh, in Korea. Uh, leisure clinic, leisure clinic, because my country is not uh, modern leisure equipment, modern, uh, modern leisure treatment. Uh, because I, I like uh, here uh, learn and study in uh, leisure dermatology. For the past five years, over 75 foreign healthcare workers have gone through training at this hospital. Except for the foreign healthcare workers who are here on their own, over 450 medical workers have had their training in Korea through medical training programs supported by the Korean government. A Korean class at Inha University. As if to prove how big the Korean wave is, we can see that the foreign medical workers are very enthusiastic about learning the Korean language. Dr. Jung is a cardiologist from Vietnam. Dr. Jung's day begins at the cardiac catheterization room. 
Cardiac catheterization is a procedure that inserts medicine to the coronary artery to diagnose heart diseases. Sometimes he even participates as the main operator. I'm very scared. Very, very scared. Yeah. Because it's very important. This, this procedure is very important for the patient. So I'm scared that I cannot do. I'm scared. But professor told me that oh, don't scare. Uh, because because you do with me. So if any any problem, I will help you. A chance to participate in a surgery is not common for foreign medical workers. Okay. He has gotten so used to living in Korea that he even eats kimchi every day. When he enrolled in medical school, he says he chose cardiology for a special reason. I choose, the, I choose this, this field because in my country, the number of the cardiovascular patient is very high. So I, I think that if I learn about the cardiovascular intervention, I can help my patient as many as possible. So, and the private, private reason that my mother had a cardiovascular disease. So I want to learn about it. Yeah, it's the, it's the reason. When his parents heard of his chance to study in Korea, they encouraged him, telling him that it was an opportunity of a lifetime. His year of studying in Korea is nearing to an end. Can you read all Korean language? Yeah, I can read. I can read. How about this one? Chit Om Hwang Kiang Bi Hak Q. Bi Kwate Hak, yeah. It's an emergency. The pulse of a 60-year-old patient with arrhythmia has slowed to a dangerous level. Dr. Jung seizes the opportunity to learn in this life-and-death situation of the patient. He is currently attending a conference on infection control being held at Ina University Hospital. Here he learns about the hospital's response system for infections that could happen any time during a treatment. Because in, in Korea, they have many conference, medical conference. In the conference, they saw the new technical, the new knowledge, the new skill in the conference. And when the doctor and the professor go to the conference, they learn from this. They learn from the conference and they change the technical. Yeah, it's very good. How long time? How long will the pop-up message appear? Conferences like this provide an opportunity to compare Korea's healthcare system to that of Vietnam. I wish, I hope, yes, I can, I can learn my major good well. Mm, and then I come back to my country and I can do the new, I, I, I can apply, I can apply the new technical in my hospital for my people. An ovarian tumor removal procedure at Ms. Medi Hospital. Dr. Orgid from Mongolia is watching the procedure closely. A laparoscope is used to remove the benign tumor that is in the right ovary. Only our chief of department, he does laparoscopes. I have impression that uh, Korean surgeons, they have uh, uh, good surgical skills, especially good uh, in laparoscopic surgery because, uh, for example, in Ms. Medis Hospital, 99% of uh, surgeries uh, Gynecological surgeries are done, are done uh, laparoscopically. At Mismedi Hospital, 
Most of the gynecology surgeries are done with laparoscopes. The hospital's high success rate on the test tube baby procedure is well known overseas. Patients even come from Russia and Mongolia for the procedure. Dr. Orgit studied medicine in Russia. What is it like for her, meeting a Russian patient in Korea? So we don't have all the instruments we require for to do certain surgeries. For example, we don't have uh, much later in our hospital. We don't have roomy manipulator, roomy system we don't have. So we can't, we are limited by um, techniques. Uh, we are limited by instruments, laparoscopic instruments. Every day in Korea is precious to Dr. Orgid because she's only here for three months. Today, she's in Jeju Island to attend a gynecologic laparoscopy conference. Korea is fast in accepting laparoscopic and minimally invasive surgeries. Today's presentations will provide a good opportunity for Dr. Orgit to learn about the level of and trends in laparoscopic surgeries in Korea. Mongolian doctors will be also able to perform uh, all laparoscopic and hysteroscopic surgeries uh, like in Korea, that we will be able to afford uh, ourselves to have all the instruments and all the IT technologies which uh, Koreans have. Meeting talented medical professionals has been another benefit to this conference. Uh, Dr. Orgid, who grew up in landlocked Mongolia, saw the ocean for the first time here in Jeju Island. What thoughts must be running through her mind as she looks at the sea? I learn in my training as much as I can and uh, be able to uh, realize my knowledge in practice, uh, medical practice. New opportunities found in the faraway country of Korea. These foreign doctors who have come here and matured much will go back home and become wonderful physicians who will do their best to help their patients.